Hey everybody, this is your boy D Give you this week's episode of Queen Sugar Episode 2, mid-March of 2020 Ah man, this episode is starting to warm up, folks It's starting to warm up by here It's, it's we're living last year's pandemic And if y'all know what happened to last year's pandemic It touched our souls Business closed down at the time we were just learning about the with the pandemic with the criminal virus, the China virus, and some people say it wasn't real, and some people say it's fake news, and some people were grabbing masks and they remember the toilet paper and people fighting for toilet paper. That's the real the real streets and trying to get masks. You say you shouldn't wear a mask, save it for the for the workers. And it was just it was a very intense time. And we still go into that tense time, folks. We haven't passed through this virus. We haven't passed through the pandemic. Business is still shut down. Never could be reopened again. People are out of work. The little guys getting squeezed. Politics change. You know, I could go on and on. So this was a very it is so fresh because we still haven't gone over it. We still try to get to the other side. What the other side? I don't know. So this is what I love about Queen Sugar. Queen Sugar gives you the realness. One thing about Queen Sugar, it ties everything. It takes current events and rolls and weaves and mix and mingle and finesses into a storyline that's relevant during that time. And Queen Sugar never dip, disappoints you with that. It will never say it never disappoints you. Anyway, before I can, before I go on review this week's episode, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for, bro? What you waiting for, girl? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe. Be, 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 to be part of my tribe. I can't even talk. Be part of my tribe. You know what I'm saying? Because I got all your favorite shows. I got Queen Sugar. I got Half to Half Not. I have... Uh, Ikawasa, that's another good show I'm reviewing. I got Black Lightning if you're into the comics. I got you there. You know, I'm I'm thinking of see if I could do some kind of headlines. Maybe do some news. You think I should do some headlines or something like that? Well, I'm trying to see how I could roll that, wave that in. Anyway, hit the bell to right if you hit the bell to your right so you can be notified of any new content that I drop so you can be part of that. And hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down. Don't even matter. Just hit something to say you hate me or you like me. It doesn't even matter. So anyway, I, uh, it started off, I guess, remember Charlie supposed to meet uh, Parker. And Parker basically says she, she ain't show up. She she turned go she turned ghost. She she for a while her she got she carried a camera bag and she she took the flight to New York. She scooted out of you like so quick. She got her winning shoes, honey, and she was like, did the flow? She ran. Now, why she ran? Could be because maybe her family got some. Maybe she, maybe the qualifiers hit hit her family. Maybe she has. We don't know. Cause we don't know if she has kids. Maybe she has a son. Maybe she has a daughter. Oh, nah. Maybe she has a mom that got hit with the with the corona, with the corona, and she was like, I got to get out. I got to put I got to put the brakes on and run out of here. And Charlie was like, "What's going on?" You know, we know how Charlie does not like to be stood up. Charlie won't. She ain't play with you. If you st st stand stood up, Charlie, she don't she don't take that. She going to eat you alive. And I don't blame Charlie either. I don't like to be stood up either. I'm like I I agree with Lynette with Queen with, with Random TV. I hate being stood up. I hate being lied to either. Don't waste my time. If you, you if you can't make it, just let me know. Don't waste my time. I got things to do. I could be doing something else. I could be making money. I could be sleeping. I could be doing a thousand other things, but you're wasting my time to be here. And you have the courtesy not to show up. And I tell me, that's not cool. That's not cool. So, and the one of the things I'm going to say about the pandemic, it affects, affects older people. Because we thought at the time it only affected older people. So people like Prosper, who's alone, who, who's home all day, they don't remember. Because Prosper, I don't think Prosper, was it last season? 
I think his daughter wanted possible to go with her, to move in with her or something like that. I'm not sure. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, if I'm if if I'm wrong, put it put it in the comments. Because I believe last season, her, his daughter came down to to uh, have a move with her or something like that. I think so. I, 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 I. Anyway, so he's alone. Remember, his wife died. He has no friends really. I mean, he has friends, but he has Ralph Angel and um, Hollywood, but they kind of have their own lives. So he's home all day watching news. And, you know, at the time, news was talking about the, the coronavirus. That first it hit, it started hitting, started in China, which I'm not going to go into detail with that. And it, it originated and it went to Washington. So, you know, he, as an old person, you hear this kind of stuff every single day, you know. I can imagine the fears and anxiety because you're not a young person that could just bounce off and be like, I got it. Just bounce off my skin. We're moving on. You know, you, you start to settle in. And for me, I know that feeling because I remember my mama and my brother. My mama was older. She was she was in her, I think she's in her 70s. And she works in the hospital, right? And she got the coronavirus last year. And I didn't take it seriously. It was, I believe she got it in March or April. Thankfully, it was a mild virus. It wasn't too bad. Thank God she got over it. But that moment, it, it hit me that I could have lost her in an instant. You know, what would have happened if I lost her? Maybe I would be one of those people who would have not able to say goodbye because she could have been in the hospital. And I, you remember that time, you couldn't see anybody. So you couldn't even see your family members. You couldn't even talk to them. And I always say about that, you know, what would have happened? You know, all you could do is watch them die. They were burying, they were burying bodies in a, in a truck because they had no place to put them. You know what I'm saying? And that's not too long ago, folks. That's not too long ago. So, you know, prosper, you know, prosper. It's scared. I hope they don't do it like it prosper the virus. Just a full, you know, make it be an example like, hey, this can happen to anybody close, dear close to him. I hope they don't do it like that. Because unless they don't, like say, the other person that can get the virus, get the virus maybe on five. But I think she's too much of a mid rock. I think she, I think, I can't see them doing that because she, she has too much of a storyline with, with with Hollywood and she's too much of a a key captor. So it's Prosper. So I hope they don't do it. I mean, they might do the Prosper. I almost feel in my gut they might give, you know, give, give, you know, Prosper the Rona and say, hey, just a, you know, you know, because that's a beloved captor, right? Sorry, I, I had to fix my camera here. Yeah, I think it's better if I move here. Ah, uh, that's much better. And he's he's most of a, a, a fixer of the show. You know, I don't know, man. I, I don't know, y'all. Yeah. What y'all think? Put y'all predictions on the show. Yeah, put your share your predictions on the in the com on this week's episode. Comment below. I want to hear. I want to hear your guys' thoughts about predictions of, for the season. I'm curious. Anyway, so we get Maka, Micah, right? He's feeling himself. Remember, he joined some uh, fraternity. I don't know. I don't know the name of the fraternity. Gamma Singer, whatever, something. I don't know. She. Whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know. We find out he's a freshman. Cause I think I think uh, my poetry life with poetry says she was. She I think she said she she thought that Michael was the second year was a sophomore, but now we find out he's a freshman. So Michael doesn't tell Charlie what he was doing. He just tells us to meet him. You know, meet me at the you know homecoming with Davis. And so Davis and uh, comes down. I thought Davis was gonna bring his bring his uh, daughter down. No, no, maybe her daughter. No, his. I mean, did he have a daughter or something? But oh no, she probably was in school during the time. 
Yeah, she probably was in school. Yeah, so I don't think he would bring her down there. So anyway, you know, it was a normal party, you know, more homecoming. Oh, we said, Kiki, do you miss me? Kiki, do you miss But Miss Kiki is not thinking about Micah. I think Kiki was close up with this dude. Getting real close to him. She, I think he, I think Micah and Kiki going to be done. Because they're going to college and they're both finding their own ways. And I don't think they're going to, I don't think that relationship is not going to last. <laughs> you know, I think Mike is a, Mike was a jealous person and kicking in with that. So I don't think that's going to last too long. Kiki, do you want me? So anyway, you know, you know, you know, Charlie and David's like, where's Mike at? He's missing the party. Oh, no, Charlie, he ain't missing the party. He is the party. He is the party. Right? He is the party. So he's doing a little dance, those two steps or whatever they do. And find out, you know, surprise, Michael is the, you know, is the, you know, is in the fraternity. And David's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Charles like, what the? You know, Charles' face is like, that, what the, what the, heck? what the, what the heck? What the hell? You don't tell me anything? I got to find out. And you know Charlie likes to fix things, cause she's a fixer. <laughs> and Charlie's like, "What you doing? And, what you mean?" And Michael said, "I gotta tell you nothing. I'm this. I'm a grown man. Yeah, I'm a grown man. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take your money though, right? Cause I can't pay for my own cost through you know tuition. So I'm gonna take your own money. I'm still claim I'm a grown man. I'm a grown man." <laughs> You know, and Charles, Charles saying, hey, what can you just join your dad's fraternity? The, the one you join is not good. Fine. I guess you're trying to say it was maybe it was hood. And Michael said, well, I tried. They don't want me. They didn't want me. Why? I, I, can, I can put in the name for you. Michael said, I don't want to do that. Don't put in no name for me. Let me be my own man. And I agree with Michael. You know, you should want somebody. You should join them. If they don't want me, that's their loss. We're just moving on. Just moving on. So, I'm going to skip around a little bit here and there. We found, oh, speaking of Nova, Nova and Calvin. Calvin and Nova. Uh, Nova is set to meet Calvin's parents. It's a nice little, little town. I guess it was a family reunion. You know, first you, you thought the grandfather was going to be giving the Nova the side eye. Remember, Calvin said, you know, his grandfather doesn't, doesn't say night isn't a nice person. AKK, he's a racist. And first he gave Nova the a side eye, but when Nova said, hey, I got this good scotch, he was like, oh, you got this good, got that good scotch. Ooh. He was like, oh, oh, you, you cool my book, baby. Go keep bringing me the scotch. Ooh, I'm going to be all right. <laughs> you going to keep cool. You got that scotch. You guys light up. Oh, you got, oh, she got scotch. Ooh. But I can't, you gotta be careful when you drinking. You know, drink that, drink that brown liquor. You know the true characters might come out. You might be like, you know that 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 black mother, that black in. She gave me that good scotch to me. She might be a darky, but you know, she know how to get him. She knows how to treat this person. Oh, that scotch is good. Oh yeah, give me another. You know, I can't stand her, but man, she knows what kind of scotch I like. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyhow, anywho, moving on, moving on. You find that, uh, uh, you know, the mother likes Nova, so she's okay. The daughter likes Nova, but the son, but the wife, his ex-wife came and said, how does it feel to break up a happy home? And I was first I was like, Nova, she got a point. I can't even get mad at the poor woman. I can't even say she's wrong with that statement. I can't even say, hey, because this is not a race issue. Hey, you are the mistress. Yeah, the, the Catherine, was it Catherine's fault? Yeah, but you participated, Nova. You participated. You all the, you all the other women. You knew the guy was married. And what do you think she's supposed to say? Hey, Nova, welcome, welcome. Hey, oh, Nova, 
hey, let's get a goop. Let's have a hug. Let's hug it out. I don't know, man. You can't, you can't hug this one out, Nova. And then, then she started, she started to spill the tea, honey. Talking about, you know, Calvin got a thing for black women for the exotic type. You know. She, he liked the women kind of thick like a biscuit. Thick and juicy. She, you know, that's what he likes. He ain't like, you know, uh. Skinny, skinny string beans. He don't want no string beans. He wants some thick, luscious, juicy porterhouse steak. If you know what I'm saying. If you know what I mean. I'm trying to keep it clean, y'all. I'm trying to keep it clean. And then Calvin came and said, no, no. He became the hero. He put on, the, he put on his cape. And did what he's supposed to do. He put on his Superman cape. He got his, he grabbed his right here and said, uh-uh. She ain't, she ain't like no other woman. She is my woman. She's my queen. She's my queen. Oh, yes, she's my queen. The other women, y'all was just standbys. So I get to the right one. I said, standby? I said, I said, I said, I said, Kevin. I said, Kevin. Woo. Standbys. I had to take my heart from the floor. I had to pick up my. I had to pick up my dang heart up. Oh, pick it up. Pick up my face. I said, Kevin, 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 Kevin you ain't gotta do that to the mother of your kids. What are you gonna take? She a standby? She a standby? A standby don't have kids, honey. He ain't no stand. She ain't no standby. She, she got you. She got your dang on kids. Talk about. She's a standby. Standby. Okay, Kevin. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> like, 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 like Miss Honey would say, pump your brakes, pump your brakes, pump the brakes. Shoot, pump them brakes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> but, you know, but, but no one looked at the camera and said, really? Because she's not got what Haley said to her, got to her head talking about. So, you think I'm going to be finished? You think I'm just one of your little fetishes? How many women you dealt with? And Calvin's like the same amount of men that you dealt with. And Nova, you don't deal with men, you deal with women. I'm just saying, season one, boo. Season one, boo. You, 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 you go to men too, Nova. I don't know why you're questioning him. He loves you. Obviously. He sticked out with you. He, he, put his he put his neck out. The laugh, he put his neck out. I, I, I'm laugh, he put his neck out here. Put his neck right there on the line for you, girl. Put, put on his, he put his neck out for you, girl. Put on his neck out. If that's not love, I don't know what it is. You call what it is. That's love right there. That's love. That's love. All right. Uh, oh. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I missed. Oh, though it has some type of interview for a job. I think is it a supervisor position? Uh, position? Cause I don't remember exactly. But I think it's some supervisor position. She's nervous because her past, and Charlie gave her some coaching tips saying, "Don't beg for the job. Act like you deserve a job. Act like you you could be a proper solver." Which I think is pretty good. And I think you know you still got you know Dawn's nervous because her past, and I think what they should have did. What Charles should have did, did like a mock interview, you know. Cause I would, cause I went to work, workforce one and they used to do like a little mock interview and you could, you know, work it out and say, hey, this is what you need to do. And I think that would have, that's what Charlie should have did. I think it would have been easier because I could tell when it, in, at one point she was talking to Mary and she's getting all nervous. I was like, oh Lord. I was like, Lord, please don't, don't screw this up, child. Don't screw this up, child. Don't screw this up, child. Because I said, you know, cause, you know, you know, my Asian supporter was saying this and that, you know, you're going to you're gonna get it. You're going to get it. Uh, we got I'm vibing Hollywood, my favorite couple as well. I'm sorry, that's my favorite couple right there. I mean, shoot, you want to see Hollywood? I got, I got to be me a Hollywood. Shoot, Hollywood make me look, make me look myself like I'm a horrible human being. I got to set myself up as a man. I, I got to treat my woman better than that. I gotta do better when I was a girl. I said, God, I'm gonna get my way to be a woman. 
And the, I think there was a point that we created a date night, and which I thought was kind of cute. It's like, oh, it's so cute. And, you know, and then, because, you know, Howard has to open up, so I think up open the stop, open up his uh, men's group, the real spot. I was like, <laughs> soon as they were about to celebrate, before this, there was before the celebration, uh, Charlie got news from the CDC, CDC saying that, hey, the coronavirus is close to being thick. It's right here, y'all. Y'all need to, you know, you're going to have to close down. You can't wait for the government. You're going to have to make a decision. It's going to affect everybody. So, you know, Charlie caught on fire and said, hey, this is important. This is, it's here. You need to close to the shop for two weeks. And it affects the older people. I just want to let you know. And then first, you know, <laughs> you know, one point, I'm says we're going to close the shop. It be back April first in two weeks. I said, <laughs> you only think it's two weeks. So <laughs> you, because remember last year was oh it's only two weeks. The two weeks turned into two months, six months, year. I mean we didn't even we not even officially open, but you can still kind of get into business. But most of the business now, the little business are shot. They're closed down. They never could reopen again. Only big businesses that they're okay, they'll survive. But it's never the same. Can't even go to real, can't even go to restaurants and really sit down. We're, we're gonna go for vacation. We're gonna have, you're gonna have to take the vaccine. I'm, and I'm sure they're gonna do the vaccine. They should do a season when they're gonna talk about the vaccine. Oh, and, then, and then the stimulus check, you know the stimulus check is gonna be Board up because some people ain't got their stimulus check, and I'm still waiting for my stimulus check, which I think is dra this dragon. They should be getting the stimulus check since yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, should have gotten that stimulus check. All right, but they're playing with people's money, paying people's expenses. People can't wait, you know what I mean? But that's another topic for another show. Let me not start there. Let's talk about this. We should keep this, keep, keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. And during the time, you know, Dollar was where that possible going to get the, uh, get the get the Rona and Rob Asian. I don't want to hear that Mona no more, which I think is great because it's, cause Rob Asian was like a lot of people who thought, I don't want to hear that. Turn our mess off, girl. Let's, let's get, get, back to, get back to doing this. I don't want to hear that Mona stuff. I want to go kill, kill this vibe. I want some of this right here. Mm. <laughs> and then... Charlie was asking Michael, "Have you what you school about? Have you heard anything about the Rona, the coronavirus?" And he says, "No, no, no, no." And at one point, uh, Calvin was with with uh, Nova, and Calvin said, "You know, it's not gonna be too bad." And Nova said, "It's bad enough when the NBA shut down. It was bad." When I was watching the, the game, I think the NBA, and when they said that I shut down, I was like, oh, "It was real because the NBA never shut down. They never shut down." When they shut down, so holy. When I watch the ESPN, all they was talking about the Chrome for like months and months. I was like, oh my god! When the NBA shut down, I was like, this is real in the streets. This is real in this month flipping streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's about to get exciting. I can't wait to, with it. I'm with I'm with the Queen Sugar fan train. Queen Sugar, Queen Sugar. Anyway, they got cover everything. If I have not covered anything, put it in the comments below. Put it in the comments below. Anyway, this is your boy D. I'm out yet. Yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Have a good night. Have a good night, y'all. Peace.